Ramble. Thank you to Skillshare and Best Fiends for sponsoring today's episode. Okay, I'm back in action, baby. Here we go. We're ready for a good podcast. Who's ready for a hot tripod with your boy, Zach and Keith? We got Miles. We got Rainy hey. lur- lurking off camera. <laughs> lurking about a uh, strong positive review of Rainy mm-hmm. from last week. Strong positive. People love Rainy. They were like, Miles, who? Yeah, Rainy, by Who's the way. Who's nation? You were very sweet. You, Rainy said very nice things about me, and it was very sweet. And I appreciate that you guys kept it real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to You know. <clears throat> this yeah. is an exciting day. You got a little Zeth special. That's yeah, right. and we Zach both Keith got connection. new shirts. Yeah. We're both looking fine. You look adorable. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am a big fan. I, I told Keith when he walked in, I'm a big fan of his shirt today. We got... Uh, uh, a bunch of flowers, mm-hmm. a, a nice periwinkle. I, I see three shades of blue on that shirt and then a yellow to break it up. Yeah, mm. you know, yeah. I, I it's not a sponsor, but Bonobos really yeah. has got the shirts for tall boys like me. They're cute and summery. They also got shorts that come in nine inches, seven inches, or five inches. What, what, what is uh, I'm rocking talking about? We're talking about I'm language. rocking the sevens. <laughs> I got long gams. Sevens look like fives on me. Fives look like underwear. So, you, yeah. you got to <laughs> choose your own adventure there. I had to buy a bathing suit recently. I had not bought a bathing suit in five, six years. Yeah, well, <laughs> I also have some that are like the elastic in the waist. It's like, no, no, no. There's yeah. some fall right off. As a straight man, mm. there are some articles of clothes <laughs> that you really just wear until they fall apart. And I, when I tell you mm. that I have one pair of underwear in my drawer that I've had since high school, I, mm. I'm not lying to you. That's I don't gross. wear them, yeah. but they're there if I need them. You have so you must have so many MeUndies though. I do, and they're so much better. And I'm yeah. fi- and that's finally giving me the permission to get rid of some of those. But there's one. <laughs> it's like my one pair of underwear. I'm like that's like my little comfort blanket for some. Ugh. Anyway, whatever. I've gotten rid of all. <laughs> You're of those. making it seem like I haven't washed it since high school. Yeah, well, it's clean. Well, it's, it's got burned in. Yeah, you memory know, germs. We know what you're doing. It's in got high memory school. germs. You don't. All want All right. Those. All right. Yeah. When I, you, when I you, bought a bathing <laughs> suit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I also got some new bathing suits and they're you know what bathing suits are an are a chance for fashion as well really who knew as a boy yeah cause i know that ladies have cool swimwear they have lots of suits but me i was always like grab a pair that's got lobsters on it let's hit the beach no more, no more thought necessary than that and then I got some also from Bonobos. I got some not cute, a sponsor, not, not a sponsor, not sponsor, but I wish they were so I could get a sweet, sweet tripod tent or something over here. <laughs> I could use it. I think they have been a sponsor, maybe <laughs> not recently. No, we enough. would remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they just have. I mean, I, I just got some cute little uh, short blues and those. I did get a pair of five inch. So I the swimsuit that I wear right now is bright red from Walmart. And it is not very flattering. I look like a lifeguard. In How it. long is the inseam? It's long. Yeah. Well, it's, this is where yeah. I was going to go with that yeah. story is I saw the option for the first time because I was doing some online shopping because uh-huh. stores are dead to me. Yeah. All the options are terrible. I just don't, <laughs> I, I don't get it anymore. They're not for me. Uh, but I had to take out a tape measure <laughs> and measure uh-huh. on my body. And I'm like, where do I start? But I, it had never occurred to me to mm. shop by bathing suit length. Uh, mm-hmm. and I want a three inch inseam. I really want to. Ooh, they have those? No. Uh, <laughs> five measuring. is about as, yeah. as short as they get. When you're measuring, do you measure from the end of your dick to your knees or? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Speaking of dicks, <laughs> you guys are really cool and hot. And right. uh, shout out, Rainy Segment. Da-da, Rainy da-da, came da-da, up da-da. with a brilliant segment, obviously. This segment is about dating. Now, the apps, okay? Everyone's out there on the apps trying to get strange and kiss in weird places, uh-huh. right? Yeah. You guys were never really on the apps, right? Well, Zach, I think, had a had a, had a moment on the apps, but I, it, I, was yeah. it was after you were I found or, Becky. More than a moment. I, I had a, a long time on the apps, and I was not good. Mm. And here's an unfortunate <laughs> thing about the apps, <laughs> uh, is that it's an algorithm, mm-hmm. and within, I believe, the first 10 minutes <gasps> of you being on the app, you're given a score. It's not a score that you see, but the score that you mm. get 
basically decides how attractive you are based on how other people swipe on you. Wow. Wow. And and then what they do is they start to match you with people who are your same level of attractiveness. Mm. But every now and then they feed you someone who's way too hot for you just so you go, oh, oh, maybe I can get someone who's real. That's crazy. So here's a problem. I had a real glow up. Uh, (laughs) But... Before that, I had a lot of bad photos. Yeah, and so yeah. I believe that my score was stuck in a low place. And you were being matched with Uggos. I, well, well everyone's not, beautiful in their own so way. Well, not according to you. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> not according to the algorithm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it didn't really work great for me. Mm, okay. And I never got a chance to go on like the cool, like exclusive dating apps. I never oh, got the rich people the apps. The Raya. You know, there's, a, know. there's rich people apps. There's rich people apps. They're better for people. People who are rich. The yeah, we have a, for people who are I know, rich. I know somebody who knows somebody who started hooking up with Moby. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Wow. Wow. But anyway, today. I want to hook up with Moby. <laughs> I'd like at least the chance. Yeah. <laughs> you may get your chance to uh, revisit the dating apps because today we're going to be building the sexiest little dating profile. You know, it's fun. We had a meeting yesterday about mm-hmm. podcasts and Miles said, the people don't like games as much. <laughs> they want to hear just some real talk. Yeah. They want to just hear you vibing. Yeah, that's they want to hear a good story. From and then them. right yeah. out the gate, he mm-hmm. said, hey, mm-hmm. let's just cut this off. Yeah. I'm going to introduce a game and not even give you a chance to vibe. Well, here's what I'm saying. I'm going to give you what we're going to do is there's a bunch of question prompts on the Bumble and I'm going to ask you those questions and it's going to spawn stories. I love it. So I'm sort of reverse engineering an organic situation where you get to talk about Something like, oh, it's so cute, Zach. Do you know what he did? If he he were president, what would he do? (laughs) And that's going to be sort of what the fans are interested in. Abolish the entire American military police. That'd be tight. Yeah, That's probably what I would think is the most important thing as president to do right now is to go through and overturn all the ridiculous laws that happened in the Mm -hmm. last half decade that gave them immunity, basically, and turn them into a military uh, occupancy of our own country. That's Preach. what I would do. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you're looking for love, <laughs> come on over to Keith. <laughs> I'm imagining that as a dating profile. It's so intense. Yeah. I'd be like, wow, this dude's awesome. But also, I don't know that I can go on a date. Also, I don't know how many protests I can go to per month. <laughs> so is what yeah, you think. When you lot. read that, you're like, bro, this guy's yeah. out there with signs and God bless him. Yeah, this schedule is going to be tough. Yeah, it's been a while since I've attended a good protest. Same. I, mm. I uh, we got our fill in last year. Yeah, but, but we should time. be doing more. We should be doing it all the we time. We should be doing more. Yeah. You guys remember? I, guys remember? I remember. <laughs> <It was laughs> you want to start? You wanted to continue? Yeah, I remember. You remember guys, when the country fell apart? Yeah. You guys yeah. remember? I do. You, you guys, guys remember? remember and then we kind of just all were like, oh, that was a lot for my brain to handle. Let's mm-hmm. pretend everything's normal again and ignore the problems. Until yeah. Well, we can go again. to restaurants again. Yeah. 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 So we don't need to be sort of well, shot no, we, tear gas. We definitely should be protesting, but it's hard. Yeah, I think it was a, you know, great motivator of people to protest when mm-hmm. like also they were so clearly everything about society was broken. Yeah, and they were like, here's something that's especially broken. We can easily get behind this. This is so obviously fucked up. <laughs> we yeah. got to go outside. And when society's broken, it's hard to get to the fucking. So that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> uh-huh. On building, <laughs> what other what sort of cute story prompt you got for us over okay. here? I like that. a segue like that because it guarantees that you have to include what came before it. There's no oh, yeah. way to cut around it. God, you're right. That's always the biggest pain in the ass. And I'm like, this story is boring, but it bounces, something but it else sets, lays after. the groundwork like, for a we great. Can't, we can't cut Zach's shark shirt yeah. because it right. lays the ground. Well, Why? Well, that's a bad you? example. No, that I was never a cut banger that. of a story. That was a good story. Yeah. If I and you're welcome, internet. Yeah. It looked like he was attacked by the shark, and now the <laughs> shark was about to attack you. Yeah. It was like, holy <laughs> shit, he had slits on this. Side. Every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> I see a comment that's like, unless this person, less that. It's always me. Uh, and mm. I'm like, do you not know what this fucking show is? Yeah. You've been around for a hundred something episodes. You're going to get a shark shirt story. And yeah. I know that if you weren't on the show, it'd be me next. <laughs> I'm I'm protecting you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'm doing a selfless act here. Yeah, I'm giving you guys. Uh, I'm giving y'all a common enemy. 
mm-hmm. so that you can enjoy my friends. It's good to rally behind the hatred of someone. Yeah, yeah. a villain. You know, people like that. Snow yeah. White. People, the apple, I guess. Is people, people. Snow White isn't the villain. <laughs> Sophie. I hate Snow White. <laughs> free what the an idiot. Free the dwarves. Why, why did she even talk to that witch? Why did she even get that apple? Did she read the Bible? Apples are fucked up. Don't her, eat apples. Her skin is so pale. It's too pale. Yeah. I can't even look at her. God, what is she? A moon? Yeah. A is, moon person? Is it an Adam and Eve thing? Is it like an allegory for the original sin with the apple? Is there? Is there? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just, it is, you know, there's something there. There's something there. All right. Rank the dwarves from most to least fuckable. Grumpy number- is going to be good in bed. Oh, you yeah. Think he's going to be number one? Yeah. <laughs> what about Doc? Oh. Smart guys. Yeah. He's got money. Oh, you know who's going to be good? You know who's going to be good? Who? Dopey. Dopey's probably you know dopey. Why? You know why? Because dumb people, like, like hot people, like when they're packing, yeah. they don't have to be smart. Whoa. Dopey's got that D. <laughs> is Dopey hot? Dopey. No, because he's. Is got, Dopey hot? Or is he just Dopey? <laughs> That's a really good question. Dopey's packing. That's what I'm saying. If their nose says anything, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pull big. up Dopey. I feel hot. like they have, all have like sort of cute noses. It's one of those movies that I think was essential for us to watch as kids, but like, is it good? I haven't watched it in so long. Oh, wow. That's a fuckable I, let me see. I pulled up some fan art of Dopey, who's absolutely shredded. Well, yeah, that is the Dopey you want. <coughs> That's yeah. the hottest Dopey. Do, how old do you think Dopey is? Because his ears are huge That's and good. noses and ears grow your whole life. So the fact that his ears are that big, you have to assume he's <laughs> like 112. <laughs> Rainy, Rainy just gave such a deep introspective nod. <laughs> she was like, That's a really good point. How old is he? <laughs> Dopey. Why does Rainy not have a mic? What the fuck's up, man? Yeah, I'm sorry, Rainy. We, maybe we can hear it. She's also floating in like one of the few spots of the room where you can't see her. <laughs> well, because last time somebody was like, hey, I understand that Rainy has to work on the podcast. <laughs> can you get her a privacy screen? Because I feel bad that she has to edit Pine Miles. <laughs> oh, well, anyway. oh, it takes one comment. So, Rainy, you go over there. You don't need to say a ding dang thing. No, you don't even need to reframe it. All right, perfect. You don't even need to do anything. Beautiful. We're just going to give her the option. I like that. Rainy can have the option. Happy, dopey, grumpy, doc. Which sleepy? one's the sexy one? Well, how, well, can you name Slippery. Them Slippery, <laughs> skanky. Skank. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Who named the dwarves is really the question that I have. Mm. Snow herself, I assume. Snow is her first name? I guess so. <laughs> right? <huh? laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that must be her name, <laughs> Snow. Why don't we ever just call her Snow? Yeah. Hey, Snow, <laughs> get over here. That's Miss White. Insane. Does she have a name in the movie? Snow White. Snow White. Hey, what yeah. do you mean, does she have a name? Who's yeah. the fairest of them all? Yeah. I'm trying to remember the movie. Like, do they ever be, do they refer to her as Snow White? Yeah. I, yeah. I think so. Well, like Sleeping Beauty is Aurora. Snow White's name is actually like Danielle. Je- Jezebel. Judith. Yeah, <laughs> Judith. And speaking of Snow White, she right, must have got laid a lot. So All right, Miles. It's game time. Here we go. That was a really good, good personal anecdote. <laughs> <laughs> so if we were building the sexiest dating profile alive and we wanted to get a lot of swipe rights. Oh, yeah. Then how would you answer this question to go on your dating profile? <laughs> what happened, Zach? Zach, did you spill you all over spilled? yourself? <laughs> I spilled so much LaCroix. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Luckily, it's soda water is perhaps the best thing to spill, except yeah. on the marble. Don't spill on the marble. Just keep moving. Don't Just talk about the marble. Zach thought he stained the marble yesterday, but it sounds actually fine. It looks good. It sounds fine. Well, that it sounds, sounds good to me. It sounds good to me. <laughs> so if you were trying to make a dating profile, yeah. what's, what do you got? When, <laughs> when no one's watching, I... And then again, you're trying to seem sexy. Uh... Talk on the phone while pacing wildly around my house. Are you a, are you a pacer? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. big time. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, why would I sit still? <laughs> I should walk <laughs> everywhere. So when no one's watching, you you pace wildly. Well, if I'm on the phone. Yeah. But if someone's watching and I'm on the phone, I'll try to be less pacey. You oh, know, if Becky's home, I try not to pace as much. But if I'm alone, I will be all over the house and yard yeah there's Just, something to that though moving motion i think helps free up the brain we were actually talking about this yesterday like taking meetings while walking or i'm now trying to get a little more shameless about stretching so if we're having a meeting i'll just get up like i don't care i'm just gonna mm. move my body because 
I don't care. <laughs> Zach's, yeah. Zach's the bravest airport man in the world. Oh, my man God. Man will just start doing stretches in the middle of like a f- totally full like yeah. 36B. Yeah. Everyone, it's full. It's about to board. And Everyone's is, already lined up, even though they're only calling group two. Get sit yeah. the fuck yeah. down, group mm-hmm. five. He's upside down. I've seen it. Yeah. Stretching his booty out. Stretching I have his to. back out. Yeah. I love it. It, it like if I I mean airplanes are one of the hardest things for me. There's something about the pressure and obviously sitting still, but it mm. it's the pressure of the plane. I think really just uh, sets my pain off. Yeah. So I <laughs> fucking do yoga and I don't care who's watching. Yeah. What you know how they your... say dance like no one's watching. Yeah. Do yoga like no one at the airport's watching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's mm-hmm. the deal with airplanes? <laughs> you know. I think if I'm <laughs> alone and no one's watching right now, the thing I'm mostly doing is playing Beat Saber. Yeah. Oh, really? In VR? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's sexy or not. In fact, I'm pretty sure because I've seen video of me doing <laughs> it's it. It's not sexy. Uh, yeah. From the outside, it doesn't look cool. But when you're in there, mm-hmm. it, if you could see what I'm seeing, you'd think I was the coolest motherfucker alive. I'm fucking slashing beats. I'm hitting mm-hmm. arrows. I'm yesterday for the first time. I played it online with people and you can't talk to them. You can just see like their avatars and yeah. you can wave to each other. And then you all kind of play the same song and then it ranks you like one, two, three, four, five and gives like special awards. And it was what's so cute about it, and maybe it was just this group, is that every time anyone got any award, everybody like clapped with their hands oh, and like clapped toward adorable. them. And when you got an award, you went like this, yay. yay. <laughs> and it was like adorable and I it I loved it. Yeah. So if you want to play Beat Saber sometime, girl. That's a good hit me up. When no one's watching. Do you want to play Beat Saber sometime? Do you want to play Beat Saber sometime? I like that. I think that that's a swipe right for me. <laughs> This is something I really believe. I think that every human was born to create. And whether you last picked up a paintbrush yesterday or in grade school, it's very likely that your current job does not allow you a creative outlet. Mm. You can still explore your creativity and be inspired. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. So with so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. A gift that I got for myself was a nice camera. I wanted to start taking nice photos again, but I really... I got this thing and I didn't know how to use it. So I took a portrait photography class. It it taught me how to shoot and how to edit really Instagram worthy shots, but just nice photos that that feel nicer than just the normal stuff I'm firing off. Experience real improvement with hands-on projects and classes designed for real life. And you know, Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. So explore your creativity at Skillshare.com slash tripod and get a one month free trial of premium membership. Uh, that's one month of a premium membership at Skillshare.com slash tripod. If I'm, <laughs> if I'm being honest straight up, if no one's watching, I'm probably picking my nose. Oh, I, really? Me too. I have a di- I like, okay, I picked my nose all through childhood. Mm-hmm. I picked it a little bit as an adult. And there was this one point where I was very shameful about it in my early 20s. Where I'm mm-hmm. like, ah, this is a, a baby thing. I gotta, yeah, I, I need to stop. I can't do this anymore. And then I reached like maybe 25. And I'm like, you know what? This is me. Take it or leave it. Have you seen the size and shape of a finger and then checked out a nostril lately? It's perfect. It's built for it. Yeah. Have you seen the size and shape of my nose? Because you got to get in there. Mm -hmm. Charles Darwin observed the proboscis of the hummingbird going into the nectar and said that evolution made it so. Mm -hmm. Go to my finger was made for this nostril. Yeah. Like, what are fingernails good for at this point? Absolutely nothing. (laughs) Say it again. (laughs) Nose. (laughs) (laughs) Why can't I pick it? I don't really know, man. That was fun. That was fun. Do you yeah. think that can make its way into our dating profile? Do they have sound clips I now? Think there is oh, are there sound clips? For there hinge, should be fucking right? like you get one voice memo on your profile that people can play. Yeah. And it's like, hey, I'm Keith. I love Beat Saber. I, I, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good for a meal or two. Let's hang. Yeah. And you get to hear them. Mm. That's pretty nice. I do feel like the during quarantine, I had friends who would like do the FaceTime call more frequently, which I feel like is sort of crucial. Yeah. You want to hear something freaking crazy? Uh oh. <laughs> what? Do you hear something freaking crazy? crazy. Hit it, okay, so back to back dating app. Next week, we're going to have our buddy Amir Bloomfeld on, yeah. the, on the show, uh, college humor alum, and he has a dating app now. So, oh, yeah. So we'll hear about that from him, I'm sure. But we have a buddy, Liz Warner. You uh-huh. may remember her from our uh-huh. BuzzFeed days. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's one of our good friends. She made a dating app. 
Really? And it did super well. She became a little Forbes 30 under 30. I'm not bitter. I'm not jealous. I should have been one, but whatever. It's cool. No, no worries. It's, it's crazy fine. to me it's that fine. Zach wasn't a 30 under 30. It's fine. We were I'm all putting to, our eggs in his fine. basket. I'm about yeah. to turn 31, so it's over. It's not Dang. even worth talking about anymore. Maybe good luck, Randy. Maybe you can become oh, that. You think there's like a... I still can too. Most fun 31. <laughs> like the award that we can do where we pick someone Ooh. who never made a 30 under 30 and on their 31st year, they get a special Most accolade. Most fun 31. Most fun 31. I'd be thrilled. But Liz's dating app uh, was kind of what we're talking or is kind of what we're talking about where you message back and forth and then unlock a 10 minute video chat. And I think you have to do the video chat before you exchange numbers. Yeah. And it's like just a way to kind of incur because I think that I, I remember when I was on a dating app, you would message back and forth. And it's so frustrating because like you're like you're trying to play it out and then like it's on an app so you know you push notifications and like one little conversation takes five days mm -hmm. and then either you gain mm -hmm. momentum or you don't and then finally get to a place where you go like hey maybe we should uh move this conversation over to text message and you always have to be like fucking cute about it and it's yeah. stupid so she took that out and was like no we're just gonna make that part of the app that's cool so shout out to liz i don't know what the app's called but go check it out <laughs> Let's yeah. find out. I'll find it out. So we give a free shout out over here. I'll find it. Don't we you love worry. giving out free shout outs. Do, Bonobos. Zach, do you remember what your uh, profile was? <laughs> like what your uh, description was? Was it like, hey, I'm Zach. I don't recall my bio, but I do know my pickup line. Oh, goodness. What was it? Don't you? Oh, goodness. Pre me? Maggie. I have mine. I know what mine was. Okay, go, Miles. Mine was... Uh, Pre-Sarah. See, how's it feel? Pre-Sarah. Yeah, it feels wild. It was the Wild West back then. Wicked Wild, Wicked Wicked uh, Wild, Wild West. My... Jim West, Desperada, <laughs> Rough Rider. No, you don't want nada. None of this is gun in this, mother running this yeah. Buffalo Soldier. Look, it's like I told you. It's called no, Gleam I mean, Dating. Gleam, Gleam. Oh, G-L-E-A-M. Now, when you dance, all this in distress. Be out of well, that dress, yeah, yeah. man. It's Jim mm. West. <laughs> oh, pick one. Sorry, I hit both at the same time. I remember my <clears throat> line that I would start messages with was, if you had a favorite dinosaur, what's your social security number? <laughs> <laughs> And that didn't always really work at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we talked about this on the podcast, but somebody I went on a hinge date with commented on a Try Guys video and it got upvoted to like the top comment. What did they say? Oh, I remember this. They were like, Miles yes. ghosted me. Yes. You, that was oh, early on. I remember on. that. Yeah. I don't really remember what the video was. I think it was me in comments maybe. But uh, I just thought that was funny. And, why and why you, did you ghost her? That's a really good excellent question. question uh, right now. Because I didn't. You're hired. <laughs> because <laughs> I, but it's so funny because it's like, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't really like her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also don't think I ghosted her. I think she has to hang out. And I was like, yeah, I'm actually busy. And then I didn't reschedule, mm. and she didn't reach it's out. It's a soft again. ghost. Soft. Is ghost. it a ghost if you never? We're dating. I, no, yes. Yes, it is. I, it is. But I also really? think that that's a soft pass. Is I don't know. I don't go. If you just stop communicating. But that's I, considered ghosting. But I didn't. But now I how, think how much communication is required bef before stopping communicating is ghosting. I see what you're saying. At a certain mm. point, is it ruder for Miles to be like, hey, man, I don't think it's going to work. Right. Yeah. Like, I don't think point, I need to like, like lay out why I don't like them. <laughs> that feels way meaner. I, what if you like, can you just send like a ghost emoji now to be like, I am ghosting. <laughs> so, you know, I'm yeah. done. I'm sorry. Here's a cute, spooky ghost. Mm. This relationship is done. I don't hear anyone talking about ghosting anymore. And I wonder if it's just because now it's just an accepted part of communication. Yeah. It was new mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. It was because text dating, online dating was, was mm -hmm. new. But now it's like, you just kind of what you got to do if you don't like somebody. Yeah. At a certain point. Uh, yeah. Yes, if you've been on dates, I think you owe them. Yeah, if you've, I think if you've met in person like two times, you should probably be like, hey, just so you know, I, I, I don't think my heart I don't think my, my heart, heart is there. <laughs> my heart. Yeah, because it's about love. Yeah, so I, I don't like think that. my heart is going to match up with your heart. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> that's you know, I would, if I received that message, I'd be like, that's reasonable. Yeah. I get that. I think I'd be like, fuck off. <laughs> you don't like me? <laughs> What's wrong with my heart? Uh, tell me. What did it, everyone, this is the fifth time this month. What's wrong with my heart? Speaking of uh, dating uh -oh. second try members. <gasps> 
very uh okay so miles obviously you know at the end of the show does advice that'll go for oh miles. yes he has begun doing advice that'll go for miles as a call-in radio show that's right uh, over on our igtv and mm-hmm. if you guys like it maybe we'll maybe we'll keep going maybe it'll be a real show but uh <laughs> look at miles doing a little <laughs> dance it's v- very fun and if you do not see the premiere installment Someone called. So here's the idea. Yeah. Well, to pitch us the idea. So the idea is I'm obviously an advisor professionally at this point, and <laughs> mm-hmm. people call me to solve their problems, and we take all sides of calls. I don't know who's going to call in or what they're going to talk about. Oh, so you, you have no idea. Until no they call idea. In. No idea until they call <laughs> in. And they, although they can also leave voicemails, and uh, on the first episode we did call someone back because they called in and said they had a huge crush on Will. Will Whitmer, <laughs> our wonderful AE, the, the mullet man himself, uh, the most like the man who made me go, oh, I guess I'm not actually neurotic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is, but I, so in that episode, you basically like introduce her to Will over the phone. In a yeah, surprise it's way. exhilarating. It's, it's, I love it. It's thrilling. But I wouldn't say there's much advice in it. No, well, the advice to her, well, I solved her problem. I didn't. That's not advice. Well, in a way, I advised her so well that she met the love of her life. Well, we don't know yet. Yeah. So, but wait, okay. So they, so, so she called in, she told everything that she liked about Will. Mm -hmm. Will was there listening secretly. Yeah. And like, this kind of sounds mean, but she was super gung ho and very very for it. And she sounded cool. She was like, also, she might be listening right now. She did sound cool. She was a go getter. Yeah. And they're what? She's coming to visit LA and she's going on a. uh, There's going to be details that we're going to have to update. But yeah. But she's coming. Things are in the works. Yeah. And they're going on a date. I think so. Yeah. Thrilling. Are you going to give her advice for on how, how to, to really win his heart? Oh, that's a good you point. Know I Will think well. so. I know pretty well, very well. Are you uh, going to well. do a Sereno situation where you are in her ear with <gasps> a secret earpiece? So you basically, it's you on a date with Will. That's I would do very well. I know Will extremely well. Here's the thing: as a boss, mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know if I should be encouraging this environment where we, you know, <laughs> use our videos to have our employees. <laughs> Yeah, uh, conflict of interest. Go on date with it's our like fans. It's like YouTube is our dating app. Yeah, but also I did it. <laughs> I All right, I, I did a whole bunch of it. Like I did it. So uh-huh. that's you right. know, Buzzfeed. Yeah, do as I do, not as I say. That's right. Wait, did you meet any? It, now you wasn't from YouTube comments. No, but the confidence I gained led me to her. Yes. Yeah. Aww. It's hot. But yes, yeah, so I would say I met no one good through the videos. But yeah, uh, oh, that's not true. If you're out there listening, very nice people. <laughs> wait, wait, his heart on. didn't find any. My heart. His heart didn't yeah. grab any hearts. The hearts didn't line up. Mm-hmm. It's like The Bachelor. There's a lot of pressure to find your love. Oh yeah, but you're you're a willing. You are a willing on contestant the on The Bachelor. Yeah, I met Bruce Campbell. That was cool. Who's Bruce Campbell? How dare you? <laughs> I think I know. Star of the Evil Dead. Oh my God! Yeah, fucking hero of mine. But anyway, yeah. Somebody else called <laughs> me and they were like, "I have a bunch of snakes." Um, but I, I, it's weird to tell guys on dating apps. Like, how do I tell them I have so many snakes? And I, my advice to her was to dress completely goth so that they expect snakes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'd say if, like you should have some sort of like a visual clue yeah. that could, that could, that could make it easier to break the news. I agree, yeah. <laughs> Why, or it could just be your little fun fact. Like, look yeah. at Rainy. Look how, look how sweet she looks Mm -hmm. what if she was a a secret snake person that's right i'd be like oh i'd be surprised if rainy had snakes yeah and i think that would add like a little little what i'm saying range i think you should get some snakes yeah i i'm so scared of snakes i think they're the scariest (laughs) animal but that's more than bugs more than rats snakes Snakes freak me out all (laughs) snakes are just like there's no scary than snakes yeah (laughs) there's not really all snakes are pretty similar they're just different sizes. You well, some of them are snakes. bitey and some of them are fine. But okay, yeah. think of like the diversity of other animals. Snakes, if you're scared of snakes, you're scared of snakes. That's true, yeah. but like an mm. anaconda versus like a green garden snake, there's a lot different <laughs> amount of fear there. Yeah. I have a snake story that happened to me just the other day. <laughs> Go off. Get ready for this. All right. I'm on my way out to a 4th of July brunch. Get Not right even out. a brunch. Get really, out of a town. party, right? It's, I'm excited. I've got, I'm all, you know ready to go out. I leave my house, so ready to get in my car, drive over there, lock the door behind me, absolutely don't have my keys in my pocket. So I've locked myself out of my house. Hilarious. <clears throat> Sarah's out of town, my roommate's gone. Oh, sounds like a Zach situation. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it sounds like a Zach situation. And I'm like, okay, well, I think I might be able to like get into my house somehow 
And so I'm like, well, what if I sidle along the side of the house in between the fence and the house, which is like very challenging to do. So I'm sidling along and then I'm like, and then I'm like, fuck, we have a giant like storage tent on the side of our house. So I have to climb over it. So I'm like bracing myself on the fence and the wall. And then I jump off of it on the other side, hit the ground and then start walking away. And I hear like <gasps> no. right behind me. No. I'm like, what the fuck was that? And so I turn around and at first I think it's a snake and I see it writhing and it's like, I mean, at least half a foot long. <clears throat> it's writhing around on the ground like that. And I oh realize, and I don't know if it was a snake or a lizard, but it is a tail <gasps> that I think no. when oh I my hit, God. when I hit, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. I want to when see how I this reaction continues. I'm no longer looking at Miles. I'm turning <laughs> to yeah. Rainy. I this is such a mistake not to have a camera on Rainy. Yeah, yeah. She's really giving us a when lot. I, Can you lean towards me a little yeah, bit? Lean, <laughs> lean your reaction. When I hit the ground, I must have hit some sort of snake and or uh, lizard. And I like okay. must have cut the force of that must have cut the um the tail off of a lizard <gasps> or oh. the like body half of the snake and i don't know <laughs> what it was and i didn't stick around to find out because i had to get my keys it's probably a lizard probably a lizard they let they let go of their tails a lot easier than yeah. snakes let go of part of their body that's a good point but <laughs> i think ground. you think that your heel <laughs> smashed down strong i don't know enough to I, sever a snake in half i have no idea but that's the only thing that made sense i was like unless i don't know where else a tail that's writhing lizard. would have come from lizard, from a lizard. you think lizard. so yes yeah it was spooky 100 percent lizard or lizard. it was big though. small snake and it wasn't a tail it was just fully yeah. a small snake and no, it, I saw that it was chopped. <gasps> I then it was chopped. a lizard. It was bleeding. Did it they was, have blood? No. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, do you do, think they, they have lizard? Do. You know, like, they I, have blood? <laughs> well, they're not, they're not you know, aliens. It might be, though, that the tail is is as a sort of its own life. It yeah. <laughs> doesn't connect to the body. So yeah. it was like oozing? It was. I saw that it was severed for sure. And um, oh, that's awesome. Rainy. Yeah. If we were to hypothetically surprise you with snakes for a video. Oh, my God. Oh my god! I don't know. I think I'd run. Really? But what if you ran into more snakes? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful when there's snakes around. You, you got to be careful. Fast. Indiana Jones is afraid of snakes, and look how much he was able to accomplish, yeah. even in the face of he snakes. He beat the Nazis. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you he could, did. You could beat them. They're having a comeback, so we need someone. Yeah, to we do need somebody to step <laughs> up. Point. Yeah. And so step one is facing my fear of snakes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would say he never truly conquered it. But he, no, I, he was in the snake pit and he got out. That's, I'd see if you can get That's out. That's conquering of the snakes, not the fear of the snakes. Yeah. I don't know. If you can Ooh, do anything yeah. while in a pit of snakes, I'd say you're overcoming fear. Have he, you guys he did it for love. He did. That's true. Yeah. If Marion was down. Okay, it's time we talk again about Best Fiends. I don't know about you, but I've been killing slugs. You know about Best Fiends. It's a great puzzle game. You can play it online. You can play it offline. I, for one, always get most of my puzzle gaming in on airplanes. So I'm so thrilled to be talking about Best Fiends today. And there's so many cute little bugs. It's cute and it's also funny. It's just fun. It just makes me happy. I feel like I'm being challenged. There's always something new. They are updating levels all the time. So every time you open the game, it feels feels like it's a brand new game altogether. It's just the most fun game out there. And you know, it's one of those games that makes 30 minutes feel like 30 seconds. Well, with thousands of fun puzzles to solve, there's something new every day. I restarted, I started a whole new game. I'm on like level 50 Whoa, already. It's wow, so fun. Look at you go. It's so fun. And there's plenty more to go. And what's great is there's adorable collectible characters. They're adding new puzzles every day. You can strategically team up with characters based on their special abilities to get more points. Give it a try and let me know if you love it as much as I do. Download the five-star rated puzzle game Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. I have a lizard that lives in my garage. <gasps> Speak on that, Keith. <laughs> He's a garage lizard. Mm -hmm. He's always in the same spot. <laughs> He's always in the same spot. I love him. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Garage lizard. <laughs> and <laughs> On the nose, but yeah. <laughs> He's so sweet and he's afraid of me. But he's less afraid of me than he was. And the other day he was he likes to live or like hang out in the bottom of the garage door. 
But when I have to open the garage door, I don't want to startle him. So yesterday I was just trying to gently get him out from in the garage. I was like, excuse me, guy, come on now. And I was like kind of tapping it. And he was like, then he like hid behind part of the garage door. I'm like, I can see you, buddy. You're going to get (laughs) smashed up and I don't want that. So let's get you over there. And then I got him out and I opened the door. And then when I finished my workout, he poked out his little head and I said, bye, buddy. And he kind of said goodbye in his own little way, which was to run back in his Mm. hole. And he's so cute. And he eats the crickets because I got too many crickets. I got a cricket problem at my house. (laughs) Are they chirping? Outside. Luckily, they're outside. But they live in the little the stone like fire pit area I have mm. and they live on one of the chairs. And if you move those cushions, I promise you, you will see 20 crickets. Wow, that's a lot. Per cushion. Oh, my <laughs> oh, goodness. Geez. And some of them are insy babies and they're very cute. I've never seen insy baby crickets. I'm talking like a few millimeters. They're adorable. Crickets and they're cute. And then some of them are big crickets. But I need more garage <laughs> lizards to eat all those crickets. You really are your mother's son because she <laughs> is such a bleeding heart for animals. Yeah. And you have somewhat of an indifference towards some animals because you grew up with so many. Mm-hmm. But every now and then I go, oh, there he is. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like little critters. I like little critters. Like if there was a scorpion living in my garage, I'd be cool with that too. Hmm. I'd be like, hi, critter. I like little critters. I don't really like bugs unless they're big once they're big i'm like hey buddy <laughs> like a lobster is a great example I, yeah. watching a lobster or a crab crawl around they're kind of like bugs and they're so cute or like a shrimp you ever seen a shrimp scurry scamper no there's a little shrimp in the water god they're funny looking they look like you have you seen men in black uh-uh. i'm sorry not men in, uh, i mean that is one but have you seen the matrix no, you know the bug? Oh, no, just yeah. kidding. Have you seen that. Dude, Where's My Car? It's the bug Sorry, that crawls that in your one. belly button. <laughs> Rainy's <laughs> Gen Z. She hasn't Wait, seen Wait, have you not seen The Matrix? Matrix? I, yeah, I also haven't seen Indiana Jones. I was trying to ride that out, but I, <laughs> I, just, I haven't seen it's that. It's a new generation, okay? It's a classic. It wasn't my generation. Yeah. yeah. I got learned. Yeah. Okay, well, in The Matrix, there's a bug that crawls in a belly button. It's scary. It looks like a shrimp. Yeah. You're saying that that's cute? <clears throat> I'm saying that... Rainy, can you go home <laughs> and watch cute. Raiders of the Lost Ark? It's so fucking good. It's Guy, really anyone good. listening? It's old, though. Or I, the, shut up. Don't say that like well, that means it's bad. What are you talking about? Rainy, have you seen The Mummy? Mm-mm, I don't know. What, <laughs> is that Indiana Mummy Jones? slaps. The Mummy is like, uh, Not, is like Raiders Indiana of the Jones. Lost Ark that's not as good, but yeah. still awesome. I'm in the middle of Iron Man right now. I'm doing a whole Marvel. Okay. Yeah, Randy was inspired to watch yeah, the because of Marvel Becky. Movie. Becky told me to because of Becky. Yeah. Are you doing it in story order? No, I'm t- I'm doing whatever Becky and Miles tell me to do. Yeah, I told <laughs> yeah. her to start with because I told <laughs> tell Becky, I guess, to tell you to watch Indiana Jones. Then <laughs> <laughs> I told her to start with. Ant-Man. So wait, just real quick, you're gonna sit here and say Becky told me to do it, so I'm gonna do it. But Zachary's right here, and Zachary told you to do it. And you're not going to do it. No, yeah. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna write it down. Yeah. Yeah. But I have to finish. I have to finish the whole Marvel universe. <laughs> That's it's a take lot. You back forever. Um, okay. Well, up next on our I'm Disney pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed off. <laughs> I have a story. Okay, hit it. About what? About little critters. Is oh it, yeah. Is it a personal anecdote? Because the fans are gonna love that. It's a personal anecdote. Was yeah. there a little? Cr- oh, tell me about the critter. It's Let me the guess. Worst thing that has maybe ever happened to me. Oh, and whoa. Maggie. <laughs> oh no. Maggie whoa. asked me if I told you the other day, and I said. I literally froze, my skin crawled, and I said, I'm not ready. Okay, and- I have guesses. Okay. Because I thought about this moment. So yes, Maggie literally said to Zach, have you told him about the water filter? And Zach immediately looked like he was gonna vomit. And he turned <laughs> oh, ghost no. white and he said, I'm not ready. I'll tell you sometime, but I just can't get <laughs> And I was like, okay. In my mind, there's two things that happened. This here. was a week and a half ago, and I've not wow. said a word about but it. Now which the, is a big deal for yeah, me. But yeah. now that you said it's a little critter, it 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 narrows my hypotheses. <laughs> my first hypothesis was because you got your house, you checked out the water filter, and you realized the water filter had never been changed, and it was full of mold or snakes. Not, I don't <laughs> think <laughs> there's little snakes. <laughs> snakes in the water, water filter. Water so my snakes. First water thought snakes. was mold. Yeah. And then, so now you said it's a critter, so that's gone. And now I'm very afraid of what I think it is being true. Uh-oh. I want to, how do I make this suspenseful for the viewers? Rainy. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little nervy. I want to tell you what I think it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh now Randy God. knows at least, so we have somebody in, in the van. Now you tell your story. <sighs> so we were over at Maggie's sister's apartment, and 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blow it. I'm just gonna blow the beginning of it. <gasps> oh, there was a cockroach. Oh, oh, I was right. Oh, <laughs> oh, you got it. Well, give me a sound. Jesus. <laughs> now, I, jump scare. I've never spoken about this, but my old apartment had a lot of cockroaches, uh -huh. and I got a lot of, uh, yeah. of practice in LA? with it. Yeah, yeah in, in LA, LA. LA's I used got to live problem. on the first floor next to an alleyway. Mm -hmm. I had a fucking a lot of cockroaches, big motherfuckers. And I'm mm -hmm. talking like there would be nights where, so I would catch them in a cup, but then I, I was one time I caught one on a wall, but then I was like looking around. For uh, a oh no! Paper or something. No. So oh, I'm just my God. stuck holding it on the wall in a cup, and then like I tried to move it, and of course it got away, scampered behind the Ugh. microwave. I, I, when I tell you, there is nothing that I hate more than a cockroach. Yeah. They just fuck me. Like I would rather have spiders crawl out of my butthole. <laughs> I, like I just don't. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just, anything, anything. How'd they get there? <laughs> I would rather, but I got really good at catching them and getting rid of them. Not killing and, them. No, you can't kill them. That's the thing. First of all, they catch and release. You have to catch no, them. No. Yes. Yeah, you can do that. But You catch, release, or catch and spray. But if you crush them, apparently I heard this once. I don't know if it's true. The smell brings like others. They say that about every bug. That's crazy. So though. I wild. just don't want. And also like they are chunky motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm not yeah. trying to make this gross, but like. Their bodies are gonna squirt. Like they're fucking. God, I don't. Yeah, they're squirters for sure. I can't. I also, can't, they can be like. Squirt. They they're can strong. be crushed and not die. Yeah, like, like if you can I run over them it, in a car yeah. and they'll just flatten quickly and then get back up. If I smack it with a shoe, that's not gonna do it. No. Yeah, you so, need to dig. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I like literally like I like I mean in my life like I got so mad once I caught one when I was making dinner and I just like left it there and I'm like fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. I'm going to make my meal because fuck you. And I just sat and it sat on the counter while I cooked an entire meal and it watched me. And I made it sit there for like an hour and a half. And then I brought it outside and I let it roast in the sun until it fucking died. Fuck wow, you, amazing. Is it? Wait, you put the glass. Yeah. You suffocated with a it. fucking weight outside. Mm -hmm. And I let it bake in the sun for three days until it fucking died. Fuck you, cockroach. Wow, amazing. I'm mad. And I know that it was cruel and yeah, that I felt bad yeah. for a second, but then mm -hmm. I was also like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, they're awful. Yeah. Ooh, because also like they have disease and <laughs> you think you're gonna get canceled for killing a cockroach? I don't, I don't <laughs> care. That's like literally like the one thing that I'm ruthless about. That's okay. I, cockroaches I, are fucked up. They but what happened the with sewer. the roach that you found? Gimme, gimme, gimme the deets. <laughs> so we're in the kitchen and we bought um Ivana this uh this this thing. It's a Berkey water filter. It's this really nice water filter yep. that I own as well. Mm -hmm. And it's like this two chamber filter, and I see one on it. And we all like <gasps> like we like scream and and Oh, I also, fuck, go back in time. A week ago, I was on a little vacation. I went with Lord DIY. Yeah. There was a cockroach in our fucking hotel room, in our Airbnb, in my fucking bedroom. And <gasps> I, and like Maggie, cr like cl and I was so pissed. I'm like, why can I es not escape these little cockies? They're little fucking <laughs> little rogues. Follow me everywhere. <laughs> so this was literally like four days later. Mm. Like I, ju I was on my vacation. I saw a cockroach. I get home and also I'm watching Too Hot to Handle. A cockroach flew on someone's head. I'm just like, cockroaches everywhere. I've had enough. So she has these little sticky pads mm. and it's because it's on a, a cylinder thing on a, on a, on a, uh, a water filter. Mm. So I can't catch it with a cup because it's three, like it's right. curved. It's curved. So I have this sticky paper. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to fucking just stick it. And I'm, it's like really good sticky paper. Yeah. It's like bug paper. Uh huh. Yeah, fly paper. So I'm getting closer and closer and I go, Wicha! and I miss and it like, and it runs and I catch the water filter and I'm like, ah, shit. So I do it again. It runs to the top of the water filter. <gasps> And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Hoo and I pull back and I miss again. And doing that, it flings open the top of the water filter. And I go, no, no. And it crawls no. into the water filter, oh, which no. luckily is empty because Ivana does not refill her water filter. <laughs> oh, thank God. So I, I had this moment of just like gross, disgusting. Our water's gonna be cockroachy. I gotta clean it up, but whatever. I close it. I close the water filter. I have it trapped in this giant metal cylinder <laughs> what do i do now i can't spray spray in there because that's no, like, that's your, water, filter. Your water filter. that's that's like this is the berkeys by the way is are expensive mm -hmm. the story is way too long and i'm so sorry it's thrilling hey man i'm into it i bring it i, I carry the whole thing 
mm. and I'm bringing it outside. I'm holding this. I mean, it's a big water uh -huh. filter <laughs> and I'm carrying the whole thing and I just take the top lid and I put it upside down so that now the lids on the bottom and I can just go and pick it up. So I go oh, outside. Boy, I know what's going to happen now. I pick it up and I drop. Oh, the no. I drop it. Nothing. <gasps> and I go, oh, no, it got out. It it somehow in the moment oh, I, between oh, me catching it, maybe there's like a little hole on the bottom because where the water comes, like it squeezed its little fucking yeah, they can nuclear squeeze. blast body through and now it's escaped in Ivana's house. Oh, no. But maybe not. So I shine my flashlight. I'm like, what the fuck is it? I don't know. I pick up the, the, the top water filter and I just shake it. Just shake it to get it out. And then I feel it crawl <gasps> on yes. my hand yes. and I fl I literally involuntarily went <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the reaction made the most pathetic little boy noise <gasps> oh. I felt just this chill reverberate through my whole body I threw the water filter <laughs> tented it on the street oh. and uh, and I can and I came inside I sat down and I didn't say a word for an hour. <laughs> this is I traumatizing. Was so, and I still feel it right now. This is so much better oh. than the version of the story that I created in my head, <laughs> which was that you all poured yourself a delicious glass of water. <laughs> and as you were drinking it, went to refill it yeah. and saw that there was a cockroach in it the whole time. That's, That's what I thought. Also, it would have been bad. Which is why I thought you couldn't talk about it. Because I feel like when something really gross happens mm. to you, it's really hard <sighs> to tell people yeah. that you endured like cockroach water, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's like disgusting. Yeah. Cause and it's in you. you have Cause it's like, in you and mm -hmm. you, you, you feel like it's your fault. You yeah. have this weird mm -hmm. uh, like, like guilt almost yeah. like shame. Oh yeah. Even though it, you're a victim. <laughs> I've done that with a sandwich where it's like I started eating and then I look at the sandwich and I'm like, yeah, this bread is moldy. <laughs> yes, that's happened, but that's not as bad because moldy bread's not. I mean, everybody's had some moldy bread. Yeah, moment. for sure. I'm still, by the way, like that's crazy recovering from having told I that can story. Tell, as you were telling it, it your leg started really like jumping. <sighs> but Zach, why are you the one who had to t deal with the cockroach? If there are the, three people. I'm the, the man, man of the house. He's the man. I, I mean, Zach's the alpha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have uh, like ro we had roaches when we were we were in an apartment and mm -hmm. then the apartment got new management and the management wanted everybody to, to sell their apartment, like basically leave their lease so that they could renovate it. And, and they like, bought you out. They bought us out eventually. But before that, they just and then Sarah Mo Rubin moved in after. Right. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but it was after they'd renovated. <laughs> uh -huh. it. But the one of their tactics to make tenants unhappy was they stopped calling the bug guy. What? What? So they they did a lot of sh shit like that. You that need to like spray for bugs every month. So because they stopped, we got bugs. And yeah. we were like, we weren't ground floor, but we were like six feet above ground yeah. floor basically. And like our kitchen, we just got roaches. And I would, I saw, I was like, okay, here's how I'm gonna handle this. I bought a bunch of like roach spray. And I would spray it periodically. But then I would also specifically, I know that they would they'd be out at like two in the morning. So I would like wake up <laughs> And I'd go hunt them in the middle of the <laughs> night. I would run into the kitchen. I'd flip the lights on and they would be on the floor, uh, be in their little roach cells. And I'd be like, let's fucking go. <laughs> and I would just spray them directly. And I would spray all the little holes oh, wow. that I knew they were going to crawl into. And I just, I would smash them. <laughs> I, it would be like a 2 a.m. monster jumps up and just starts murdering. Smash, smash. It was like, it was all I could do because... I was like, I, we have to murder them all. And this is the best way for me to murder as many as I can at the same time. Okay, a little advice that'll go for Maggie over here because yeah. she became a pro mm -hmm. at murdering these motherfuckers. And we, around this time, I told you, we got Mexico rock, cockroach, yeah. sister's yep. house cockroach. There was a house that is getting demolished on our street. And anytime you demolish a house, cockroaches, th there's cockroaches yeah. everywhere in Los yeah, Angeles. They're, yeah, they're So we saw them on our street and I'm like, mm-mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You are not coming over here. So we put out preemptive traps. And this is what we did. We had the real problem. There's, um, I think it's boric acid. It's this this like little powder. Uh -huh. You put it out on a plate. And I can't recall if you even put it with food. But basically, the cockroaches come. They step on it. And then they bring it back to their nest. Yeah, I've heard of and this. it murders <gasps> all their all of, children. Yeah. Red wedding. Fuck you, cockroaches. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to kill your babies. So that's what we put in kill our um, dating profile. <laughs> You'd be putting you that whole story. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty hot. 
Kill the cockroaches, <laughs> kill the mosquitoes, all other animals, you're God's gift. Yeah. Fucking love you. Yeah. But y'all, y'all Satan. Do you ever think it's interesting how humans are like kind of have big animals under the control, but we don't have like little animals. We can't stop Like we're really bugs. afraid of like bugs and germs, right. but like not afraid of we, lions. Because we can't see them. I mean, we yeah. are afraid of lions. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, afraid. I'm not, you're not really afraid, afraid of, of lions. lions. But most no. of them like that we encounter are trapped. Yeah. Right. Most of the bugs you encounter are loose. They're loose. <laughs> they are like, loose. If, if we had like a yeah. lion problem in LA, it's like, oh, there's lions fucking everywhere. I open my water and there's a lion in it. <laughs> it would be tough. I think we do not like lions. You were a camp boy. Yeah. Did you ever just have a bear chilling? Because mm. uh, we did. Yeah. I didn't have that. a bear, but we saw some other critters and a lot mm. of like dangerous spiders and things like that. And oh, there yeah. were lots of snakes, but most of the snakes I encountered were not dangerous snakes seeing a bear uh go dumpster diving mm -hmm. is oh that's adorable so funny yeah and i felt bad i mean they would um there was a bear near our camp and i saw like i heard a gunshot because they tried to clear it out of the way and it may have been a, a tranquilizer gun because i don't think they were trying to kill the bear yeah. but seeing a bear rip through the forest very close to you when you are 10 Ooh. years old is exhilarating and terrifying yeah but i'm i i was never really afraid of the bears i kind of wanted to go up yeah. and see them closer they and do look bears, cute they're so cute but they're yeah. dangerous they're so dangerous they're, they're like dangerous. one of the most dangerous animals they yeah. fucking one paw boom you're dead yeah <laughs> you know what <laughs> literally that's yeah, their powerful. right yeah who are we to say that we shouldn't be swiped to death by bears Think that's about true it. swipe right <laughs> swipe, swipe right. right a bear yeah there's a good motivational booster yeah swipe right just a bear. <laughs> it was a threatening bear. Swipe right. The thing that blew my mind when we did that Alaska video is that, what is it? Grizzly bears and brown bears are the same thing. Yeah. And it's just one lives by the ocean, one lives in the land, and the one in the land eats a lot of salmon because it's a lot easier, and so they get fucking huge. Yeah. And so I'm like, you're telling me you're the same species, but the other bears are just idiots? Wait, really? I didn't, I didn't they know just that. Like, yeah, one gets a more I think I'm getting supply. that right, right? Brown one of, and grizzly. Yes, one of them black and grizzly. basically gets more food. Because it's easy. Because salmon just oh. hang out in one spot. And so they just literally stand over the water and just go, hum. Yeah, the stupid salmon are fucking swimming upstream like morons, just throwing their bodies <laughs> literally in the air. Like, here I am. Catch me. Big old bear. And the bear's like, you okay. got it. Okay, I'll do it. But wow. they are genetically the same thing. That's so crazy. Like, black bears, though, are little guys. Yeah. I think the black bears aren't that dangerous. They're not black as dangerous. Black singing in the dead of night. <laughs> Take these broken <laughs> wings. Wings and learn to, learn to fight. <laughs> learn to fight. <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. There's black bears in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee, and they're always climbing all over each other looking adorable. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. They say eating, not to touch them, though, still. Eating little blueberries. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah. touch it. They're eating blackberries, <laughs> climbing, falling, tumbling over rocks, having a good time. What yeah. kind of bear is Winnie? The poo? Yeah. Kodiak. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen a yellow bear. That's an interesting live action Winnie the Pooh movie. <laughs> with a Kodiak brown bear starring Benedict Cumberbatch as yeah. Winnie. And yeah, he's just I fucking don't know. eating a parched salmon. He's, he's like, like what kind of bear is Boo? I think he's just a stuffed bear. <laughs> but, well, he's a stuffed animal. Yeah. It's got to be based on bear something. Is boo. You know, I mean, Paddington, fucking shout out. At least he's anatomically correct. What is Paddington? A Peru. Peruvian, Peruvian bear? bear. Fucking is teddy. That a thing? <laughs> Just a fucking teddy bear. I don't know if there actually are bears in Peru. There I must be. I think He's Paddington a... is also a stuffed bear come to life. You better watch your fucking mouth. I haven't seen Paddington too yet. Or are Paddington. You, are you... I know your favorites. <laughs> are you out of your mind? I know, I know, I know. I had to are watch... you out of your goddamn mind? I know, I know. What do you, no, you don't know. Well, you don't know. I don't really <laughs> You don't know. know. Yeah, that's right. You know, there's only two movies that have ever made me cry <gasps> in the first 15 minutes. What? Yeah. Only two? Two. I'm a liberal In choir. the first 15 minutes yeah. of a, you just met the characters, the inciting incident uh -huh. made you cry. Up. Yeah, that's one. That's one of them. Yeah, uh -huh. number two, Paddington 2. And it didn't make me cry because it was sad. It made me cry it because happens. it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> because it's beautiful. It's not sad. Yeah. Anyone who's watching, it's just gorgeous. Rainy, you've never seen Paddington 2. I started Paddington one and I didn't like it. You you need to leave. How about Toy yeah, Story two? Easy. Yeah. How about to <laughs> How about Toy Story two? Toy Story, I think is scary. I I watched it when I was I'm sorry, little. You scary? Yeah. Toy Story. 
There are parts right? where I, I agree. Sid it's is scary. fucked up. Oh, in the first one, yeah. Uh, there are yeah. scary moments. So, but so Toy wait, Story did 2. you not watch Toy Story because it was too scary? Well, I saw like glimpses of it, but like it was just, <laughs> I don't know. It was, it, I like had to close my eyes. What like, movies really? have you seen? Uh, have I seen? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Ant-Man. Yeah, I just want okay, to. That's a good point. Other than, other than, other than, man. Other than Marvel, I want uh-huh. you to name five movies you've seen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, the, Easy task. Should be. <laughs> yeah. The Mister Rogers documentary. Okay, that's a good one. Great movie. He's <laughs> just great. That's the last one. I, I don't know. I cried at a lot of movies, but yeah. okay. That that, that one, one is a very beautiful just waterworks. That's beautiful. a movie. Um. Uh. <laughs> flipped. Have you seen Flipped? No. No. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> is that like a dolphin movie? It's so cute. It's the most adorable movie. Definitely watch it. Um, oh. <laughs> what is it, is, it for, is it for kids? It's, you know. Um, <laughs> What's it about? <laughs> the two movies that you've seen were the Mr. Rogers documentary. We go flip. Okay, you know Opie from the Andy Griffith show? <laughs> This is your reference. This is where you're drawing your like. That's so old. Well, no, he directed it. He directed it. But what's it about? It's about this girl who's in love with her neighbor boy, and then (laughs) and then he she's like loses interest, and then he falls in love with her. What Uh, year is it from? What year? Yeah. It's from like Is 2007, maybe. Okay. Opie's still alive. <laughs> Flipped. Yeah. What else? Okay. Gotta watch it. <sighs> um, Ramona and Beezus. Great movie. <laughs> <laughs> These are such weird. Hits. I've never heard of this. You never heard of it? It's it's um Selena Gomez is in it, and so is Joey mm-hmm. King. Joey King. Oh, shout out. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Which we just discussed. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'm at three. Yeah. Yeah. And Ant Man. You're doing great. Ant-Man. Well, no, I mean, no man doesn't count. count. Marvel doesn't count. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have a favorite movie? Yeah. Well, I think those three are <laughs> <laughs> Flipped is in the favorite. It's really, you'll watch have it you and you're going like, to be like, whoa. This, Harry this Potter is, movies? Oh, I love Harry Potter. I okay. mean, Harry Potter definitely yeah, okay. um, went okay, to Harry Potter camp. Right it was there. tough. It was you went Harry to Potter Harry Potter camp? Yeah, it was kind of embarrassing, I think. But Are you a wizard, Rainy? I wish. Oh what? my gosh. I remember when I was 11, I was like, didn't get the fucking letter. What? <laughs> what is Harry Potter camp? the best camp in the world. <laughs> Uh, you yeah. get sorted into a house. What? I was sorted into Griff- Gryffindor, which was bullshit. It was only because my sister was in Gryffindor and they just pair siblings together. Uh, uh, like another see. toll, I see. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'm not in Gryffindor. Gryffindor is the frat house, right? No, well, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, it's, ha- it's, Harry, it's, it's Harry Potter's yeah, yeah. house, so it's like kind of the yeah. probably stuck up. It's people. a little right. basic. Yeah. But what is courage? It's a party school, though. I think. What is it's courage? Party. Thank yeah. you very much. What is courage? <laughs> what is that? I mean, in the in the modern day, mm. how do you measure that? So what did you do at know. Harry Potter camp? Oh, right. Okay, started? so mm-hmm. they leaned heavily into potions class because that's really what you can do, and like in the Muggle world, you can make you know? sci-fi you can, things. Yeah, so. but mm. I made a love potion, didn't drink it because I was like, I'm saving this. For the mm. for when I really need it, then I lost it, and that's why I think I'm single. <laughs> Interesting. Probably yeah. no love potion. Never yeah. drink the love potion. Um, they had these like diaper. I think they they're made <laughs> for diapers, but they grow. They you they grow and they get wet. Oh yeah, and I then uh, jiggly puffs. So we made that. We made sounds like a basil. thrilling eight weeks. You made yeah. yeah. You made jiggly puffs. Oh, it was a day camp. Was it, it was <laughs> a day. I was gonna say, was it sleep? I thought it was sleep away. I also thought it was sleep away, and I was like, this is cool. Yeah. Interesting. History of magic. You just went through the classes. You played Quidditch. I mean, fun. it was pretty fun. That's yeah. okay. What's the fifth movie? I'm gonna count the Harry Potter franchise oh. as one. Yeah. Uh, you saw a Kissing Booth. I did see Kissing Booth. That one gave me the heebie-jeebies a little bit, but it was still, yeah. it was a ride. Oh, mm. Set It Up. Have you guys seen that one? That <laughs> Is that like a volleyball good. movie? Um, no. <laughs> it sounds like you get tired of a volleyball movie. <laughs> that one is where they set, they, there's two people who have bosses that are too hard and then they are just like, they need to have sex. Uh, so then they set yeah, them up yeah, and then yeah. they fall in love. Ah, yeah. wow. We should do that with you guys. <laughs> Rainy, you have homework. <laughs> yeah, give me a list. Give me a list. Yeah, uh, Paddington 2, I also have to watch. Yeah. Toy Story 2. I will say the 15 minute cry thing, any Pixar DreamWorks movie yeah. makes me cry. It doesn't Easy. matter if it's sad mm-hmm. or not. Frozen <laughs> yeah. 2 makes me cry. Frozen 1 makes me cry. Uh, I think it's their eyes. Yeah. They're so big. Sing, Illuminations, Sing makes mm. me cry. That movie? Yeah. 
And it's, I think it's the animation. I just like the eyes are so big and beautiful. It makes me cry. Most okay. unexpected movie cry for you. Unexpected. I mean, the one that I love the most is the Toy Story 2. When somebody <gasps> loves That's not unexpected. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Beautiful. But it's you when you're watching the movie, you're not expecting it's this true. mournful in the middle. Mi- and it's it's right in the middle of the movie yeah. and it's so sad and it's so like mm. uh, you know, it's about you know going growing apart from your toys but it's also a little bit about growing apart from your friends and it's like really yeah. sad and it like really ca- catches you and you're like oh my god i'm crying in the middle of a movie about a doll not having like her doll's owner going to college oh. so the, sad the end of toy story 3 and i'm certain i've said this is the probably the hardest i've cried in a theater it's so sweet it's and really not good. the moment that everyone thinks no it's, it's not. not them holding hands yeah and accepting death sweet and Becky hates that moment she's crazy she's like these toys are accepting death I'm yeah. out no she needs, to, <laughs> like, she, she needs to fuck right off yeah. your, your beautiful wife needs to <laughs> <laughs> <You're> lovely <laughs> and um but one time I, I've told this too I was in a car and just explaining that scene to Maggie mm. and I started crying it's sweet. Well, we got to wrap this up, don't we? Yeah, we do. You told us to wrap it up before we got into the making rainy this movies. How we, where would we be if we didn't have that? I think we segment. needed it. We needed it. So your dating profile could be like down to watch some films. I've seen almost none of them. <laughs> I'd love to be introduced to movies, please. If you like flip, then you were in for a good time. If you even know what it is. Oh, Let's have left. coffee. I need to look. Well, yeah, watch the trailer. I'm you'll be, you'll look be this up. But yeah. while I look it up, yeah, it's time for the mm-hmm. second youngest mm-hmm. and still least experienced <gasps> yeah. of us to give some advice. This is Miles' time that'll go for Miles with Miles, miles. Bones in New York. It's advice that'll go for Miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go for Miles. Everyone get ready. Miles Nation. What? 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 It's a remix. Miles Nation. It's a remix. 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 Oh, it's a go for Miles. I love an animated intro for this remix. anime opening. Oh, that would be dope. Would you on like a surfboard? What the heck is Hey, up? wait a minute. What's the noise at the end of that track? Have you never heard that before? No. There's just like some fucking noise at the end? Yeah. Why haven't you cleaned that up? I think I did at one point. And, and you lost that I'm, file? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, go ahead. But it's me like putting my phone down because I recorded it's it. It's clearly on my phone. just <laughs> something you should have <laughs> chopped it's out legacy. of the audio file. <laughs> it's legacy at this point. <laughs> What's up, Miles Nation? Hope everyone's having a fantastic little Thursday or whenever you're listening to this. <laughs> have you ever wanted. <gasps> A little bit of in my life, a little bit of getting to deadline. Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> Do you want to shit forever? Hmm, okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Do you want to make that booty clap? I don't normally think you would say both of those things. Have you ever looked <laughs> at your health and thought, mm, I caramba. <laughs> Are you trying, is this a vitamins one or maybe like <laughs> something about being regular? Put down the tortillas <laughs> and put down the candies and open up a little plastic bag of snap peas. <laughs> A great Yesterday snack. I great ate snack. an entire bag of snap peas. <laughs> Go off, my dude. And I have been regular. They're pretty good. I. They're making you poop. Yesterday, not yet. <laughs> uh, uh, how do you know you're regular? They're pretty fibrous. They're. I yeah. Yesterday I made a decision after having wings for lunch that I was going to be healthy from now until next week. Whoa. I also had a healthy dinner last night. Yeah. Me- very much. <laughs> wings and, and cookies. And very much as a like, mm, I think I had about 18 wings for lunch <laughs> yeah. and that's all I've eaten today. <laughs> Maybe something with nutrition would be good. Yeah. So I've been sort of going for the snack of it all. I steamed broccoli and had snap peas for dinner. Yum. And I found that honestly, uh, and then I had a little bit of Beyblade. 
And I found that I wanted the gross snacks. I wanted to put oil in my butt. Dor- but I, Doritos on your broccoli. Doritos on my cock. And I... And, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> not what I said. Right, exactly, Keith. Doritos on my cock. No, but, that's, uh, not what I said. <laughs> that's not what I said. And, and I was like, I'm really feeling like I need a snack, but really what I want to do is commit to this healthy thing that I committed to two hours ago. So instead, <laughs> I grabbed a bag of snap peas and I ate every single fucking one of them. Mm-hmm. And that is the bonus about eating vegetables. You can eat as many vegetables as you want. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't have to stop. If you get grossly full, mm-hmm. that's okay. It's fine. It's and vegetables. My, Except yeah. that if it's all fibers, vegetables, you will have trouble pooping. But I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to clean out my bowel a little. And I found out that granola is bad for you. It's a lot of sugar. Yeah. I was talking <laughs> to my friend who's shredded and he was like, yeah, read me the back of the granola. And I was like, Okay, two thirds cup is a serving size. And he was like, Okay, but are you eating two thirds cup? And I said, Absolutely not. Nope. It's usually about a cup and a half. And then it was 55 grams of carbs, which is a significant amount for two thirds cup. And I was having way more than that. And I was like eating yogurt and granola for breakfast, being so proud of myself for being like, <laughs> it's basically I'm sugar. Better than everybody. <laughs> yeah, I really was like <laughs> on a high horse about it. But now uh, for breakfast today, I had eggs. Those are good. Protein. I like, I like eggs. And a half a piece yeah. of toast. Did you cook it with olive oil or butter? I used the tiniest little amount of butter. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm the asshole for using butter. I'm just, you, know, you made it packed with yourself. You're going to eat healthy. I. Well, what am I supposed to do with eggs? Canola oil. Miles, are you actually asking us how to cook eggs? No, we I know will, how to cook eggs. We will talk about this for Keith a while. Keith taught me the best way to cook eggs. And I do it that way. Although sometimes recently I've been doing that thing and it gets too steamy and it makes the egg stink really big. You're cooking it too long. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> you're getting a more of an over medium, over yeah. hard egg. Yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah, I, guess it kind of I remember once upon a time, Miles thought that he could win the egg egg off. I sent, no, him, a, I, I sent him a picture of my <laughs> eggs. He's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, <laughs> was like way better than my eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started sending Keith pictures of my eggs. So a little egg, egg trait. Although I did use your wing recipe and it was delicious. It's great. It works yeah. Um, but yeah, my, my solution advice this week is to eat <laughs> snap peas instead of eating corn and tortillas. Love that. Yeah. And don't put Cheetos on your cock. Don't um, put Cheetos on your dick. It was Doritos uh, and I didn't you. say that. <laughs> well, we love it. We got to wrap this up. We had so much fun, Rainy. So glad uh, we eventually so. got you on the camera. Mm, thank you. <laughs> we really had a progressive uh, podcast there. And so, oh my God, Rainy a snake. Watch out. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> oh, Rainy got really scared. <laughs> Okay, I'm so guys. sorry. Make sure, oh, make sure so you sorry. give us five stars in the in the various store where you're listening oh, to it. Also, if you don't have automatic downloads on, throw those on, baby. Yeah, make sure you don't need to work for the podcast. Have it delivered to your phone every week. We'd love to be having you listen to us all the time. And if you're watching on YouTube, we love you there as well. I feel so mean. That was, that was so funny. I was so Super scared funny. for a second, and then I was like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> there are, of course, that doesn't make any there sense. There are a lot of cables around you. Yeah. So yeah. a black snake could be lurking. Yeah. yeah. Or just sneak in. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> Rainy's new to Los Angeles. You don't know. Yeah, okay, I don't know if there's snakes. snakes. I didn't know there were roaches here. <sighs> there's a million. You should walk down Hollywood Boulevard at night. Ugh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like stepping stones. on chips. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. There is it. I'm serious, though. There's, is it Selma? Selma's the road that runs like one block below and it is covered in roaches at night like Ooh. like walking through the autumn leaves it's crazy Ooh. anyhow that's the podcast <laughs> hope you don't have too many bugs where you live uh check out the merch on tryguys.com and uh, we'll see you next week we love you so much and also mm-hmm. this weekend without a recipe comes back make Yay. sure you tune in we got a summer edition it's super fun and also if you haven't checked out the pokemon go video that came out this week it's super cool it's a choose your own adventure mm-hmm. check it out keith hit us with the adventure tripod theme song we're taking it back, take, taking it back. Old school, old, old school. school. Gonna go on a date, gonna call that girl back. Not gonna ghost her, ghost, ghost her. her. It's a tripod, tripod. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, stay horny. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>